called the bee guy out and he sprayed the bees away. But they're gonna come back. We need to get that honeycomb out and seal the cracks so they can't come back in anymore because a new set of bees is gonna smell that honeycomb and go right in that crack and start living in there. Don't even think about it. You hear me? All right, let's let the fun begin. So I used trusty old crowbar to, um, yeah, that's cool. Caught on my pants. I guess that's the crowbar pocket, yeah? Crowbar strap. All right, anyways, to pull that slat off so as we can look inside. Holy Jesus, and there's still bees in there even. That is fan freaking chastic. How far back does that go? Okay, dokey, this is all kinds of fun. Alrighty. Well, okay then. Let's piss off some bees. What's that noise? Oh my god, it's the bees! That is 30 pounds of honeycomb. That is no longer up in our front porch. Um, got six. I guess I could probably get that a little bit better, huh? Okay. 30 some odd pounds of honeycomb later. Let's see here. I got lots of dead bees down there. Lots of dead bees down there. All kinds of fun. So, now let's. Put that slat back up there and seal the crack. Slat's back in there. That's where they got in from right there. We're gonna put some foam right there. Got this stuff at Lowe's, uh, obviously. Yeah, I like that. Let's get the other side too. So we sealed right there. And the other side where the birds like to poop. That's up there sealed too. And a little bit right there. And a little bit right there, just in case. Okay, and we go inside and we take a break and we drink some more coffee, AKA liquid courage. That way the bees aren't the only ones that are buzzing. <laughs> All right, and hey, now that I've showed you guys my address like a dozen times, why don't you get your butts over here and help me with some of this crap, huh? No, don't do that, Klaatu's trigger happy. So anyways, that foam is nice and dry and as necessary, as it is, it sticks out like a sore thumb. So, I don't have any paint, but I have some spray paint, I think is pretty close. So let's try and spray paint it with our spray paint. It's close enough. We'll get some paint that matches uh, eventually. Okay. All right, and you guys see that crap right there? That is beeswax. Remember I said I got about 30 pounds of a honeycomb out of there? Well, it was more close to 36 probably because I went back up in there and got as many of those little tiny pieces that I didn't get before um, and as many bee carcasses uh, that I didn't get before and that's exactly the reason why. Um, and I went through like an entire roll of shop towels doing so, trying to get all those little pieces that I could. But you have to, you absolutely have to um, because any honeycomb and dead bees that you don't get, the beeswax is going to start to separate immediately and it's going to go to wherever gravity takes it. In our case, it's 
coming down at an angle like this, and we're super duper lucky. And that, there's a nice gap right there, and then there's a tiny gap all the way across here that it's big enough for the beeswax to seep out easily, but it's not big enough for bees to go crawling up inside, so it's perfect. Um, our beeswax isn't collecting up there, it's coming out freely. Matter of fact, you should have seen it the first day. The first day it was all down this pillar. I think my front porch has a cold. Let me get you a tissue. So I've been coming out here every single day with warm water and dish soap. I've been wiping up the beeswax every single day. But at least it's not collecting up inside the frame. Yeah, they don't like that very much. Hey, you're making it taste all soapy. That's not cool. No, I didn't notice before where our tools were hitting the roof. We better get that too so it doesn't attract any bees. I'll smell that a mile away. Does that wax taste bees? Kind of soapy now, huh? So we'll just keep doing that every single day. When it completely dries out, we'll go back up there with the shop back. Suck the rest out. We were lucky. We got like 98% of that, so it's just the last 2% that's oozing beeswax. And we're super duper lucky that we have gaps for it to come down. The biggest thing is, we're lucky we didn't get stung. Now, I'll be honest, this was a big pain in the butt, but still not worth paying somebody $1,200 to do it. Unless you have money or a job. I don't have either one of those things. I quit my job two years ago to be a stay at home dad. And my wife supports me. She works hard for her money. She doesn't need to be paying some clown $1,200 to pull honeycomb out of the front porch when she's got a perfectly good clown right here. Welcomes to Danny TYI.